let's talk a little bit about the actual workspaces that we have inside of our system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, my credit and collections workspace, which focuses primarily on customer credit and collections, as you would guess. So if I click on my customer credit and collections workspace, what should happen is that the system should actually go through and then show me an area that I can actually interact with to be able to go through and then drive a lot of those collection-based activities within our environment. And so here we can see that we have our managed customer credit and collections. This is a workspace now that we've exposed. And one thing that you'll notice is that the layout is very consistent across all of the different workspaces that we have within Dynamics 365. On our far left, generally we have tiles. Uh, tiles are actually indicators so that you can start organizing your business processes and the reaction to those processes based off of exceptions. One of the big things that's changing within ERP right now is the fact that you're not generally running a report inside of the new modern day Dynamics 365 based platforms to be able to find exceptions. And a lot of you are just probably sitting back and saying, what are you talking about, Scott? That doesn't make any sense. Well, in the back in the day, and I've been with ERP now for about 18 years, uh, but back in the day, we'll even go 10 years ago, when you wanted to find something in terms of an EDI order that failed, or you had a price discrepancy that was on that particular line, what you would do is you would generally run a report that would then go through and list all the different orders, and then maybe you'd have that exception that would be listed in there, or maybe you'd run a report that would send uh, you all of those exceptions uh, as part of your business process. Well, in our system, what we try to do is we try to represent those exceptions through these tiles inside of the system. So an example would be, I don't run a report to look at my sales orders on hold or for those reasons. What I do is I click on my sales orders on hold and then I'm presented with a list of the information that says what orders are on hold and also what's the reason for that hold that exists. So that's a big change when it comes to a concept of we're no longer trying to use paper to convey the information, we're trying to represent the information in the actual environment. And this is where that mobility aspect becomes critical because from here, obviously, we could access this through a phone, we could access this through a tablet. We don't even have to be internal in our own corporate network to be able to look at this information. So it's a very big shift that needs to be addressed generally as part of your upgrade or even as part of your new implementation rollup from a prior system that these concepts should be endorsed because this is the way that Microsoft is pushing that forward. After we've set up our tiles or, or actually use the out of the box tiles here as well, on our far right then we have then uh, some more information in terms of charting. So I have a couple of charts that I've exposed on this workspace just to give you an example of that charting technology. And the result is that we have chart controls that are built into the application. So therefore, if I wanted to look, for example, at my current aged accounts balances, and when I click on this information, they're actually interactive then in terms of those charts drilling down into that detail. So you can see now that I'm actually inside of my aged balances screen that builds that supporting information for that totaling that exists here inside of our aged balances.